to Intervision FM as I set the camera up maybe this way because I had it set up the other way and it just wasn't working. People said it looked like I was laying down on the job. So I'm going to set it back up this way and uh, see if this will this will stick. So it's a, it's a little bit sideways, but I think that makes for interesting filming as I uh, as uh, kids don't try this at home. If you can't see, you shouldn't be trying this at home. But uh, since I am a, a professional, <laughs> I'm trying this at home, right? All right, let's 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 bring this up here. Okay, we got the mic here. Thank you guys for for joining us uh, this Monday night. You know, and, and I've been kind of flexible on, on, the, on the Tuesday night. Sometimes I have things to say on Tuesday nights at six o'clock, and sometimes I don't. Um, but if, if you are looking forward to that Tuesday night, eh, let me know. Uh, subscribe to uh, my Spreaker. Subscribe to uh, my YouTube as well, because I, I transfer these the audio part of the show and sometimes the video as well over to YouTube. So if you haven't subscribed, I'll put in there a link where you can go down and, and become a su subscriber to my YouTube. Now let's get to the uh, the topic at hand. Yeah. Now if I can find my script. Oops. I almost got it. Okay. I love it when I find when I find these things and let me let me get rid of something. I have to get rid of my Outlook Express because it, now you know I saw the story and this guy really almost like agreed with me in saying that the the Grammys weren't it wasn't. It wasn't ex as exciting as it could could have been. Okay. Okay. Here we go. Now we we got my I got my notes up and I'm ready to go. I should have I should have did well. Forget the reason why I didn't have my notes up, but I, I have my notes up because it, there's a, a method to my madness and the, the, the direction I'm going with with, uh, with what I'm saying here. Okay. So. How many of you, uh, you know, by a show of like, you know, thumbs up or thumbs down <laughs> or something like or wow or sad or whatever, uh, had a chance to watch the Grammy last night? And to tell you the truth, the only reason I watch it is because I have musicians and musical artists that are in the business and it, it, it behoves me to sort of like keep up with what's going on because uh, I probably could get them, you know, a lot of the artists that they were interested, and maybe if they're not interested, into um, signing up to be a part of, of of that voting committee, and then it's a, it's just a matter of uh, 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 learning the process and then getting artists voted for. Yes, they tried. The Grammys tried to be very um, diverse and very inclusive. Uh, be mostly a woman show, but I know out there there must be some exciting female musical artists that will not put you to sleep. I mean, why did they have to go way back to the uh, to artists that were you know hits in the in the seventies and sixties to find artists that can rock a show? I mean, I'm sure there there were some artists that could rock the show, but you weren't seeing it last night. And then when they kicked off the show with Michelle Obama, my brain went south because I, I just stopped listening at that point. I said, what, what, who, who is this? Why is she? What is she? It's almost like when uh, Bill, Bill Clinton, the, the, the soul brother, the first soul brother, uh, as they said, was on uh, Arsenio Hall show and he was playing his saxophone with the shades on and so the, the, uh, we, we are 
uh, Bill Clinton as the uh, the black uh, president, even though he uh, signed a law that put more black youth and black uh, people. Uh, not, yeah, yeah, yeah. They were doing some stuff, uh, marijuana. That was that's legal. That was legal, and whatever stuff. More black people in jail than than any other president in the history of of America. Other other than slavery, right? So, so, so hearing her and 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 associating her voice with Obama just made me almost put my food out. But uh, I mean, what I was eating was was kind of good, so I said, okay, I'll just I'll just fade out. <laughs> if you remember that song, faded. Yeah. So I just faded out. Wow. Michelle Obama was uh, doing her her thing, and, and I, I can't really tell you anything of, about what she said or 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 what. It's just I just zoop, you know. Uh, maybe like uh, some of you um, uh, uh, derailed uh, uh, Donald Trump haters, uh, you know, you just derail and you just go off the off the the deep end when you when you he, uh, see or hear. Uh, President uh, Donald Trump, you know, is, is derangement. You, you you go off into that derangement. Okay, so I I, I can feel you on that because I I, I go on that, that derangement, uh, blank out, fade out motion when she comes in as well. So anyway, so okay, so the Grammy. I mean, started out with I mean really slow, you know. Um, I, 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 don't, I don't know if it was like, you know, women are into like really soft and slow and romantic. And, you know, they were trying to appeal to the females and say, well, there's no females out there like, like, like really like to kick their heels up and, 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 and dance and, and shake their ass. So, so we're going we're gonna to just show the slow and soft and, 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 okay, okay, you guys. All right. So, so, so. It went there, you know. It went there. I'm not sure why it went there, but it did go there, right? And, and so uh, the people that were sitting there, uh, a friend of mine, female uh, friend of mine, and I don't know if I'm going to say who, who she is, but you know, I don't want anybody, you know, getting on her, you know, going on her Facebook page and say, "Hey, why did you think this?" But I guess when when our Lady Gaga came on, she says. That lady is really not a pretty lady, and uh, my friend is not from this country. So she, when she looked at it, she says, "You know, lady, it's not her that." And she says, "Why is she wearing such high heels?" And, and you know, Prince he wore high heels too, and it must be it might be one of those short complexes that if you have short legs and and uh, you know you want to be tall and you know you wear those high platform shoes, and uh, maybe that was why uh, you know she was um, uh, wearing all those. Uh, Mask on her face because maybe she didn't look, feel good about her physical facial appearances, or but the woman can sing, and it just just from a blind person's of, uh, uh, view, you know, I, I don't really pay attention to to how uh, you know these people look. I'm just you know if I hear a good voice, you know, I'm I'm, I'm there, but I, I realize that sighted people, you know, look at what looks and stuff like that, and uh, I didn't know that uh, that the uh, Star Is Born address mental illness. So, so I'm kind of interested to see how, how that, um, I guess the other, with Barbara Streisand, uh, when she came out with hers, it was uh, addressing alcoholism and, uh, and how that, ab that abuse uh, causes uh, a musician to wreck their career. So this one was uh, uh, mental um, afflictions. So you know, eventually I will get around to the, the, the checking it out but I just haven't checked out Lady Gaga yet and uh, the Star is Born video, uh, which I will. And if you have, you know, hey, um, you know, <laughs> give us a, a you know, give it a thumbs up or thumbs down if you if you have. But I'm, I'm still gonna go watch it though. Okay, still gonna still gonna go watch it. Oh yeah, and if you just join us, uh, this is Innovation FM, uh, Innovation. The nonprofit, we work with physically challenged musical artists and Intervision FM, we're the radio station through Speaker and uh, through KOMF Radio and KUHS Radio 2 as well. Go to our website, intervisionrecords.org, and you can find out more. Now, let me uh, give a shout out to 
anybody who's joined us, just join us. Scott Sutterfus, thank you for watching. Jeremy Tipton is watching. Jeremy Tipton is watching. Michael Kaiser is watching. Greg Garvella, thank you for watching. Uh, you think Lady Gaga has both private parts? We had a, a discussion about that, uh, me and my wife. And uh, when I was 17, I'm going to stop at this for a minute. When I was 17, I I, uh, I was on this dating line and I met uh, a guy, uh, he, she. Um, and I started getting to know this guy. And he was born with uh, the both female and, and male parts. And... Uh, and as I understand, they, they, they have just put, a, put forth a law saying that they will not change a baby's sexual orientation inside the womb because what if that child, when that child gets older, they lean towards a male or female? You cannot guess if that baby or is going to lean towards male or female if they have both sexual parts. So don't let the parent uh, decide that. Let the child decide that. So I agree with not doing that surgery while the baby is still inside the womb or when the baby comes out saying, what do you want? Do you want a boy or a girl? Because uh, that's that's really crazy. So anyway, so okay. So thanks for that opinion, Chantel, about Lady Gaga. Keith Logan, is watching. Keith Logan uh, thank you for watching. Henry Archuleta, is watching. Henry Archuleta hey, my man, KUHS, Denver, doing a fantastic job with his uh, TV radio station. And uh, uh, I, I love the, 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 the Sunday show, the... Uh, the young lady that comes in uh, before me, I should say young. Well, she's probably younger than me, right? <laughs> probably younger than, than uh, Henry as well. But so, you know, so that's why I'm calling her young lady. All right. So and I do by a show um, where I can get around to doing the show there on, from one to three o'clock. KUHS Denver. All right. Flashlight. All right. So. So anyway. So. So then. Um, Okay, what I thought some of the highlights were with the Dolly Parton tribute right, and that and that uh, with My, Myrie Cyrus, I thought uh, that was uh, very well done. Uh, I heard her version of that, of her song, uh, Jolene. I love that song, Jolene, you know, please don't take my man from me. And uh, I heard that she wrote that song uh, based on like her, her and her husband used to go in, into this bank and this, this, this bank teller was, was so friendly to her, her husband and it was nothing going on, but she just, you know, it just gave her, you know, the lady was named Jolene and she just said, hey, let me write a story around that. So it came out of her imagination, you know, Jolene, Jolene, you know, don't take my man from me. So I really liked, the, I really liked the, that particular song and I, I used to, when I was 19, I, I dated a girl named Jolene that, uh, it was kind of interesting in itself, and maybe someday I'll tell you that story as well. But uh, Jolene, hmm. okay, and then uh, was it okay? And then, okay, the trivia that uh, like a Smokey Robinson and uh, Aretha, no, I'm sorry, Diana Ross uh, was was fantastic uh, as, as well. Diana Ross still got that voice. Uh, my wife says like she thought her voice was even even better when she was younger, but you know I think like you know what age it, it seasons even more. Of course, Smokey Robinson, what can I say? The man can sing a love song. Wrote you know th literally thousands of songs. I mean, I think he started out with Motown when he was about seventeen, and it was just in that neighborhood there was just a bunch of talent. And Barry Gordy, I heard he, he started the the uh, Motown with just a loan of eight hundred dollars. It was, you know, back in 1959, $800 was a lot of money. Yeah, you know, it is somewhat a lot of money today, but not as much as it was in 1959. So, uh, so what he got, I mean, he really, he really uh, built, built up uh, something that was um, uh, everlasting kind of thing. So I thought that, I mean, I thought that was some highlight. Stevie Wonder, okay, uh, yeah, okay I like what he, what he, he did with, by writing a, a song. Um, uh, but he, for the, the other singer, and I, right now, I didn't put it in my notes, so it, it skips my mind right now. But um, um, but the song that he picked out, the, the scene during the the, um, the tribute, the Motown tribute, uh, I thought he could have picked out a better song, like 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 Very Superstitious, or um, or uh, If You Believe, no, say no, no, that's Very Superstitious, or, or um, Higher Ground, Till I Reach the Higher Ground. You know, I, I mean, it was so many songs that he could have did. 
But I don't know. Who knows? He was lazy. This is, that was his favorite song. So and since you know it wasn't up for grab, he didn't, he didn't you know through Twitter he didn't say hey what should I do on the Grammy? That's would have been something. Some of these older guys put out on Twitter hey I'm going to be on the Grammys you know about a, a month. What song would you like for me to do on on the Grammys? And boom, we, we can all vote and then okay boom he could he could have did that song but no feedback from us. He just said I'm Stevie Wonder. This oh I'm Stevie Wonder and <laughs> and this is the song I'm going to do right so. What can I say? I mean, you know, Stevie Wonder. Oh, yeah, yeah. He did what he, he did whatever he, he he wanted to do. Right? Okay, okay. So, so now I missed Aretha Franklin's tribute. We we left early, um, and for reasons I don't want to discuss because I had a. a uh, but anyway, uh, so we we left early and. Uh, uh, at the TV watching party that I was at, at the we were at this uh, Irish snug uh, place on Colfax and Merriam last night watching it uh, with the, the the meeting group combo. So, so I got home just in time to see the after party. Okay. So E uh, TV puts on this uh, uh, before carpet, and I didn't get to catch the end you know, of the before carpet run. But I did catch the after party carpet run, and it had two what I assume two heterosexual ladies and one gay guy. Now I don't know if if, if the uh, the ratings say that mostly women and gay guys watch this, so you know screw you heterosexual guys, uh, or or what? And I don't know why heterosexual either white guy black guy couldn't represent the heterosexual. Side of things that maybe they say, well, maybe this gay guy can 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 fill it in, but it was one part where I guess these two women were on stage and they were describing like how hot it was, and uh, and he said, oh yeah, I, I thought they were gonna go for it, you know, the gay guy, snapped. I thought they were gonna go for it, uh, and then the, the two ladies said, well, uh, well, one of the ladies said, she said, well, I, she, uh, I think she has a boyfriend, and it says, well, what does that matter? You know, and it's like I know you guys you guys think that uh, you know. Uh, you can convert convert uh, 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 heterosexuals to homosexuals. And matter of fact, uh, I know there's there's uh, heterosexual guys that think they're uh, God's gift to women, and any woman that comes across their path, that that woman is going to melt into their hands and become butter. And and uh, next thing that the woman knows, she's going to be dazed and in in his in his bed. You know, cause that's mostly a guy thing, right? And, and I, I'm thinking like, you know, there's a little such a guy, you know, and I've met something, you know, because I, I, when I worked at the Gold Nuggets as a DJ, I had two women talking to me on the right hand side, and, and this guy, and I know it was the guy right here. So he started creeping his hand up, up my up my leg, and I said, I said, and I had to turn to him, you know, you know, I said, hey man, you know, uh, uh, I'm not sure who you think I am, but uh, I'm not going that direction. And, you know, he just quickly, you know, you know move away from the subject. But he was gonna try to see if he can convert uh, Johnny J, a, a blind guy, uh, uh, to uh, the homosexual persuasion. But you know, hey, you know, I am who I am, and he was who he was, right? So, so I know if there's heterosexual guys that think they're God's gifts to women, there's hetero, there there are homosexual guys that think they're God's gifts gift to whatever, you know, heterosexual anything or non-gay whatever. So, so and I know like a lot of people think like you know if you're if you're in the music business yeah you 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 you're probably bisexual, uh, you're probably uh, you got a little bit of gay tendencies maybe maybe not, but I just wouldn't assume just because you're a musician and you're an artist and you're very creative, that you can, go both ways you know but uh, like I said, uh, that the the after show. I wish there would have been a little bit more male uh, heterosexual uh, influence in that, but uh, like I said, I, I, I didn't look at the ratings and, and I didn't break down the ratings and maybe in that show, they, they showed that uh, more women and more uh, gay guys uh, watched that show and us heterosexual guys were just out the dry. It's like, it was like maybe we're just maybe 10% of 90% or something like that. Who knows? Who knows? You know, but uh, uh, like I said, it, it could have went. Uh, it was just too many downs, and not enough ups. 
and it, it could have went, uh, they could have, I know the women, they wanted to play their hits, right? And maybe their hits were like this slow. Th but I, I know, I, and maybe that's the reason I didn't listen to any music in 2018, because it was just so much sorry. Well, okay, I, I shouldn't say sorry. Too much slow music out there by maybe these artists. Okay, and I wanted some funk. I wanted some, you know, give me, give me some uh, uh, Robin Thicke, or give me some, give me some, uh, uh, who, who knows, who knows. But, um, what is your opinion? Put your opinions down here. Uh, and also, uh, subscribe to our, our, our email list. You can go to my inbox, shoot me an email, uh, because we're putting together a list where we're going to have our, 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 our CD release uh, of one song for three artists, Fingers T, uh, Brother D'Angelo T, Michael Johnson, on March the 8th. Then we're going to have a, a CD release party uh, on April the 19th. And we want to invite the ones who are here in Denver to come. And if you don't live in Denver, we're going to give you away. Because what we're trying to do is get them into the top 200 billboard. Uh, so we, we need that you'll have to either buy a 99 cent song or buy the full CD for $9.99. And uh, that will help uh, one or all of these artists get into the top 200. And we only need like 250 songs to, to be sold or CDs to be sold or you know downloads to be sold um or once they they get them on, on, on into uh, the the streaming uh, atmosphere if you put it into a playlist spotify playlist or apple play, playlist and, and rotate our, our artist song uh, that would help as well but we really want to, uh, you guys to consider uh, buying uh, a 99 cent song uh on the 8th as we're going to pre-release one song and then uh leading up to the um uh, release on the 19th if you can purchase the cd and if we get up to 700 we can get into the actually the top 100 maybe the top 40 and if we get like into the top 10 man we are it's going to be that would be so beautiful um if we can get it into the top 100 and i know i have i have about 2,000 people on my facebook so i know we can we can make that happen so uh, inbox me your your uh, your email address and uh, I will keep you abreast of, of what's going on. Uh, and uh, we're going to make this happen in 2019. So let me, uh, let me go say uh, goodbye to uh, David Easing. Creighton is, is watching. Henry Archuleta. Oh, J-Lo. Yes, you, okay, okay, okay. <laughs> Henry just remind me. Yes, J Lo did kick butt because we had a, a lady there who was sitting there watching, and she says, uh, "You know, give it up for the older ladies." But oh, J Lo is only forty five. But I mean, I, I, you know, she's not ready to hang it up yet. And and uh, who who knows? She may be shaking that sweet ass when she's uh, you know in her in her fifties. So yeah, yeah, uh, thumbs up to J Lo too. I mean, I, I got to put that in, in my notes as I send this off the speaker too. So. Keith Logan, thank you for watching. Chantel Kitty Johnson. I think Lady Gaga has both private. Okay. Chantel Johnson and Greg. Michael Kai Greg Galvella is watching. Greg Galvella, thank you for watching. Kaiser is watching. Michael Kaiser, thank you for watching. Jeremy Tipton is watching. Thank you, Jeremy Tipton for watching. Scott Sutterf is watching. Scott Scottifus is watching, thank you. Okay. So if I if I butchered your name, so I I really apologize. Okay. But anyway, uh, thank you guys for watching. And I'll see you tomorrow night. And uh, don't forget to go to my inbox and uh, leave your your um, email there so we can add you to our list of uh, MailChimp send-outs that we're sending out the invitation later on. God bless. See you tomorrow night.